Hello everyone, we will continue the case study for sales order report. So firstly, we developed the full case study. Then we worked on to the two change request on the case study. Suppose customer is using this particular report. Now customer identified a bug into this particular report and yes, we will resolve the bug into this particular report. An important bug, important learning will be there. Suppose customer is saying, whatever the sales orders have line items, they are appearing in the report. If a order do not have line items, they are not coming in the report. I will again repeat, customer is saying, if a order do not have line items, they are not coming in the report. Yes, customer is saying, it is a scenario that he or she can create a sales order. Later, they can add the line items, but it should not be the case if a order do not have line items, they should they should come in the report. Line items are blank. They, uh, that I can understand. But why, why they are not appearing in the report? But yes, if a order has line items, they are appearing in the report. Suppose simple example. Customer is saying, Customer is putting the date 21st August and no order numbers are coming in the report. But if customer is checking in the table, in VBAK table, if I will put the date 21st August, if I will put the creation date 21st August, we have a order number 117. If I will check this order number, you all know, yes, with the help of VA01, you can create a sales order. With the help of VA02, you can change a sales order. With the help of VA03, you can display a sales order. If I will check this particular sales order, suppose, if I will go to VBAP table, if I will show you the item data, if I will go to VBAP table, if I will go to the contents, if I will put 117 here, have you seen? There is no items of this sales order as of now. If I will show you in VA03 transaction code also, 117. If I will go 117, you can see there is no line items as of now. Yes, because customer is saying it is a scenario. It is a particular scenario. They can create a blank sales order. Blank sales order means they will only only go for header data. They will create a sales order without item data. Later, they can put a line items there, but why, why they are not coming in the report? Suppose if I will go for 21st August to 22nd August, suppose I am putting 21st August to 22nd August. So I have the sales orders 74, 75, 76, 117. If I will put these four sales orders into VBAP table, if I will go to VBAP table, now if I will go to VBAP table and put these four sales orders, if I will go to execute, we are getting the line items of 75, 4, 75, 76. But there's no line items for 117 as of now. Yes, customer can later add the line items to that particular sales order. Suppose if I will go to VA01 
and I'm creating a sales order. Suppose I will put order type. I'm putting some sold to party. Suppose I will put some customer reference. Now I will go for some payment terms. Now, as of now, I'm not going for line items for this sales order. I will later add the line items. If I will go to save button, I will go for save. Now you can see the sales order 118 created, but I only gave the header information. I have not given the item information as of now. So if I will check this sales order will be in VBAK table. If I will go for sales order number, okay, I will put today's date, today's 10th November. So you can easily, easily check this. Yes, we have the sales order number 118 in VBAK table. If I will go to VBAP table, there is no 118 here in VBAP table because I have not put any item data as of now. I will delete and I will put 118. Now you can see there is no item data. But if I will put today's date in the report, it will not show any result. Suppose I will put 10th November. And if I will go to execute, now you can see it is not showing anything. So whatever the order numbers has line items, they are appearing in the report. But if a order number currently do not have any line item, why they are not appearing in the report? It means there is some problem with our logic we need to identify yes where the problem is and how how we can correct that problem an important bug so many times we are able to identify this kind of scenario suppose i will put a break point and tell you why why it is happening then we will resolve that issue if customer is saying it is compulsory that a order has items always. Then our report is working fine. But now customer is saying, no, it is not compulsory. I can create a blank sales order with header data. I can put the items later. Then in that case, yes, our report has a problem. Our logic has a problem. You all know you have written the logic in the function modules. So I will put a breakpoint. Suppose I will put today's date. Today we created one sales order. Suppose I will put 10th November. I will go to execute button. I will go to desktop 3. Now if I will execute this query, you can see from VBAK table, we got the sales order number 118. Yes, means first query is perfectly fine. Now, this internal table is not initial. Perfect. This is true. Now, we are fetching data from VBAP table based upon first internal table VBELN. What is first internal table VBELN 118? 118 is not in the VBAP table. So this query will give the blank internal table. And you can see LT underscore VBAP has zero records. If there is no line item, the second internal table is blank. Now, your second internal table is blank. It means this query will never, never execute because this if statement is failed. Now we will come next. Now you can see we are applying a loop onto first internal table. Up to this level, it's perfectly fine. 
we are applying a loop onto first internal table. It means this 118 moved to work area. Now we are reading the second internal table based upon first work area VBEL. But 118 is not in the second internal table. If 118 is not in the second internal table, what will be the value of psi sub RC? It will be other than zero. Yes. Now that's why. Now you can see we are putting a loop on the VBAP internal table. And in this particular loop, we have the logic for the append. Logic for the append to the output internal table. Just see. If LT underscore VBAP, the record is itself not there. It means nothing, nothing will append to the output internal table. That's why we are not getting anything in the output. So what is the solution? What is the solution for the same? In that case, what we need to do? If the record is in VBAP. It is perfectly fine. If the record is not in the VBAP, if the repeat means if there is no item data, still, still append should execute, execute. It means this append should execute also if the record is in the header, header. As of now, what we did, we put the append statement inside this inner loop, inner loop. And yes, in the inner loop, we do not have the item data. Yes, we do not have the order number. That's why it is not appending. Just see. Now it is coming onto the loop and you can see nothing. This loop is blank itself and nothing is happening. Now you can see LT underscore output, which is our output internal table. It is completely blank. So what is the solution for the same? If the record is only only in VBAA, it is not in VBAP, but still we need to append it to output internal table with blank item data. Because customer is saying yes. If customer is saying no, I want only those sales order number which are which has item data. In that case, our logic is perfectly fine. There is no problem at all. But yes, now this is not the scenario. Customer is asking no. I can create a blank sales order and I can add the line items later, but they should appear in the report. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, customer came up with a bug in the report. Customer is saying those sales order who do not have item, they are not appearing in the report. Just check why, why they are not coming in the report. And we identified the reason that why they are not coming in the report. Because we have written the append logic in the loop of item data, item data. Yes, if it the item data is there, no problem at all. But if it is not the item data is not there, we will still write the logic for the append statement. In the next video, we will create a new transport request. We will go for the changes. And then, yes, we will check the result. So that's it in this video. Thank you.